Oh, what's good, y'all? What y'all doing out here? Y'all want to see the studio? Y'all want the tour? All right, come on, let's go. Come on, come on in. Come on in, guys. Come on in. It's your boy Will back in the building with another video man I hope you guys are having like a great day hope you guys are excited for the new year I know I definitely am today is uh, December the 30th New Year's Eve is tomorrow and I really been wanting to make this video for the longest to do like a tour of my studio my YouTube spot here in my second bedroom inside of our apartment but you know how it is man like the studio is never done and i always want to do more projects before i want to do the tour but yo we just got to do it we just got to do it i wanted this to be the first video of the new year hopefully to inspire you guys and don't worry i'm gonna give you guys some tips some recommendations tell you some ideas that i have to change this up because this is forever growing i'm very happy with where i'm at right now but i already know in the future when it comes to filming things and everything, I like to switch things up and change it all around. Everything is pretty much centered around like my video production with my YouTube channel. Also do a lot of like client work. The way that I kind of design this room, it's all kind of like set pieces. And what I mean by like a set is like, I like to have different filming areas inside of this room, even though I really haven't even utilized it, but that's where the whole idea comes from with like my space we're gonna start over here on the left the couch section so let's go to the couch over here this is what i would call i guess like set one this is just basically a couch i got from target or target depending on where you're from originally wanted to film right here but i never find like the right vibe of what to film right here it just feels weird to me everything in this room is um kind of sectioned off so even like the lighting it's all ran by alexa so i could say alexa turn the couch red alexa playing games today y'all alexa turn the couch blue Oh, it wants to do that. So as you see right here, <laughs> sometimes that thing be tripping, but this area is a set and I just have this LifeX mini bulb inside of this Hector lamp that I picked up from Ikea. I never film here. I need to start filming here. I just don't know like what's appropriate to film right here. I'll kind of like hang out right here on this couch and do some scripting for future videos. It fits its purpose. As a YouTuber, you gotta have the subscribe pillow. You know what I mean? And um, while we're speaking of that, you know, make sure you subscribe to my channel. The curtain is from Walmart. From shooting YouTube videos and stuff, I highly recommend you guys get blackout curtains because that way I can control the lighting in here. Over here to the left, I have this lamp. It has a Philips Hue bulb, so I can change the colors of that. Inside of here, I keep my little star projector, a few little fake plants. You know, I really love greenery. So I got like three different fake plants right here. And then this right here is like my little storage section. I got it from you know where, very cheap. Everything in here is on a budget. With the cubes, I pretty much store drone stuff. And right here, I have a whole bunch of like drone stuff and boxes. Then I have this little sign that I got right here on the top of this Zam Crane Plus gimbal. Then I also have the Weeble S. Right over here to the left, I have this little security camera right here. This is the Wise Cam. Right up here, I have a storage shelf. Now, I normally don't film this way again because I really wanna kinda decorate this with stuff that like represents me. And then I have my mascot. You know, I think every studio should have like a mascot. He is a uh, leopard gecko, reptile. He's awesome, he is the William Nevius Media Studios uh, mascot. His cage sits over here. He has a heat lamp. Then I gave him a color LED. I mean, cause 
Tacos should have some color too, you know what I mean? Fun fact about me, I actually used to work at PetSmart maybe like four or five years ago. If you're not familiar with PetSmart, it's just basically a pet store. OG Tupac, let me know down in the comment section what's your favorite Tupac song. I actually got the shirt on today, so you know, had to represent. I chose this on purpose you know it matches got this ring light right here that was like my first actual kind of lighting for myself I wish I would known back in the day how important lighting was right here I just have these little string lights right here behind me I kind of hung them up just to get a little bit more interesting lighting so when I film videos you can kind of see it in the background this is kind of like set to it's just uh, the storage section and again like I said it's all smart home so I could say Alexa turn storage blue and then you know as you see this whole scene back here turns blue kind of cheesy but <laughs> i love that you know i love options to just change the vibe up hashtag vibes in the comment section now we're getting into like the desk area and i'm sure this is probably like the part that everybody was wanting to know about so far if you like this video please make sure you go ahead and leave it a like. So this desk right here is my budget desk. I test a lot of stuff here. Sometimes I even edit like my thumbnails over here if I'm like rendering on this computer. So that's kind of like what the point of this desk is and kind of attached to it. I just can't get rid of it. It also works good too as like a prop in my videos. A lot of times I'll shoot towards this desk so you can kind of see it. I love putting stuff on the monitor just to kind of keep the scene looking interesting. I actually did a full video about this desk that I'll link if you want to see like a very in-depth thing of it. But I got the LifeX towel on the wall, LED panels, some soundproofing that I don't really think does a lot, but I think it looks kind of cool on the wall. 1080p monitor, I have a 2012 MacBook Pro. That's still my baby. I just keep it right here on deck. I have a LifeX mini bulb inside of that lamp. So of course that can change colors and stuff. Same with the LifeX tile, it can change any type of color that I desire. Just your Apple Magic keyboard in white, Apple Magic mouse in white too. Cable box down there holds a smart power strip. So everything in this room again is smart. So I could literally tell Alexa, turn the small desk red. This is the uh, Davoom Time Box, and it's a Bluetooth speaker, but I actually use it for like adding these little pixel designs. So a lot of times I'll have this like as a prop in my video. It plays music and it plays the radio too. I've shown this chair off so many. I've sh I've shown this chair off plenty of times on my channel. So yeah, I don't. I can't pronounce the name. Links in the description. Now we pretty much get into the section of the pegboard i have this ikea shelf and on top i have a few different little props squirtle from pokemon i got that lit light back there i know you guys keep asking me where i get it from but i can't find it anymore i don't think that they make it they do make other designs but none is as lit as that on the pegboard pretty much got nothing but cables like any cable that i possibly will need at any moment to notice got the charging station another new thing that i got over here is um another phillips hue light and i kind of placed it over over there because on my desk I have this salt lamp and it's literally like the same kind of orangey color when you look at my videos you probably will think that that salt lamp is causing all of that orange light over there it's kind of like motivating that light so it looks like the light is brighter than what it actually is and it helps separate me from the background I have another storage bin over here that I mostly keep cable management stuff inside of this also is like smart power stripped out so I can tell my Amazon smart assistant to turn that on or off and all that other jazz so that way i can save energy and also i look cool when i say turn the lights on and off pretty much now down to like the final component this is my main desk right here i'm sure you guys probably if you're familiar with this channel you've seen this video you've seen this desk in the back of my videos this is the battle station this is where it all goes down while i edit all of my content here on YouTube where I edit content for other people, music videos, whatever. Like whatever I'm editing, it goes down right here. This beam of light right here is the LifeX beam. It can change all types of colors. I have my LG monitor. This is the UL600 4K monitor. Audio interface right here. This is the M-Audio 2x2. I use this to 
power up my power speakers, which are KRK Rocket 5 speakers. I literally bought these speakers back in 2002. And yo, these things are still holding up. So I got salt lamp. I just got that USB-C charging pad, Echo Show 5 in white, fake Ikea plant, CalDigit TS3 docking station. Basically, I use a 2020 MacBook Pro that I just got this year. I connect it through one Thunderbolt 3 cable and then I connect everything else to this dock right here. I literally talked about this in another video. I'll link it if you want to see. It does it all, man. It does it all. I got uh, two Funko Pop figures. I got the Hulk War Machine Avengers Edition. Fitting the aesthetic of that gray, silver, white, black thing. They just go hard with the whole setup. And I actually really love those characters as well. So that's a win-win. Logitech MX Master 3. This mouse is a game changer. Like if you edit video and you do, or if you do like a lot of horizontal scrolling, bruh. You need to get this mouse. Mouse is a beast. Black Apple Magic Keyboard. Yo, it's sad that I literally bought this. It was $150 a while back just to match the setup. But I mean, yo, you gotta show dedication. The Sal John kitchen countertop comes from Ikea, sits on two Alex drawers, which are the legs of my setup. So dope, so clean. I literally just did this desk like two months ago. So video will be linked finish this video first okay <laughs> life xz strip which goes on the back of the desk and i also have a strip at the bottom as well these lights are really dope because it has multiple color zones the chair i literally probably made like two videos about this chair this is the autonomous Mayo chair really dope chair comfortable links in the description this is my little gaming headphone area so i got beats headphones hitachi headstand which also charges i have my turtle beaches that i use for gaming over here on a white stand looking good xbox one i'm still waiting to get the xbox this is my black panther collection of funko pops i think i'm only missing two from the whole entire series i'm missing oki but they went like 30 to 50 dollars for her all the rest of them was like 10 dollars, and i don't know why they gassing on the price of that but i'm missing her and i think i'm missing shaw you know the villain for, uh, from Black Panther, the dude that had like the arm that was like made out of vibranium. Not really a lot going on in the closet, but I will let you guys take a peek real quick. I'm kind of ashamed of this. Now, I was gonna kind of clean it up to make it look good for y'all, but like I said, y'all y'all family, so I'm not gonna clean up for y'all. My light in my closet, it actually blew out like two months ago. That's a whole nother story, but let me shine the light in there. Now, I'm not even sure how well you can see, but <laughs> all that's really in here is like boxes galore i don't know why i don't throw away the boxes like I, I really have a problem let me know down in the comments if you guys are the same way with boxes i think in my mind i always say that you know one day i'm gonna sell it and it's gonna be worth more money with the box but i literally never sell my stuff honestly like i never film this way because the sound in this room sounds better with the doors uh open i think um at some point i do want to like move my more storage stuff in here and maybe add some lights in here so it'll look cool anything you can think of is probably in here i have like soldering kits bags travel bags camera backpacks it's a closet y'all okay so lastly we're gonna go ahead and talk about cameras so i use uh two cameras that i have on deck inside of my studio i use the sony a6400 that i'm filming on right now my other camera is the sony 6300 i have a total of five lenses that i use with my sony cameras sony 18 to 105 i have the sigma 30 that i never use kit lens that i don't use i have the sigma 16 millimeter that's filming me then i got the sony 35 millimeter external monitor from phil world i'm gonna make a video about this at some point this is a cheap tripod that i got it's not heavy duty at all and then I have the Manfrotto 501 heavy duty tripod let's go ahead and wrap this video up I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video hope that it gave you some insight into like my studio my thought process and how I like to do things inside of my environment I really love everything about my space and again none of this happened overnight I literally have items in here that I had for over 10 years. Over time, as you build up stuff, it can turn into something amazing. But I really hope that you guys got some value out of this video. If you have any questions, 
let me know down in the comment section i really appreciate you guys checking out this video sorry it's like a little bit longer but i mean honestly it had to be long because it's a lot with all that being said i hope you enjoyed this if you did don't forget to leave your boy a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you have not already i mean come on at this point if you ain't subscribed and you've been here and you've been watching this video what you doing with your life man like what you doing remember 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 guys never stop creating deuces What y'all doing here? Yo, what's good, y'all? I mean, I guess I could do like a tour if that's what you want. You want, you want to see the room? You want to see the studio? Do you want to see the studio? Do you want to see? It? Do you want to see? It? Do you want to see? <laughs> what are y'all doing here? What are you? <laughs> uh...